Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dora the Explorer and this channel is all about remote work, location independence and helping you travel the world as much as you want, whenever you want. So before we get into the video, this is my new hair. I fucking hate it. I think I look like Dora the Explorer, but I did it because I wanted to get that blonde out of my hair because it, honestly it felt like rat's tails or straw, it was awful, it got damaged with chlorine when I was in Bali in February and that blonde has just never recovered. So I decided to cut it all off, the hairdresser went a little bit too short, I said just above my shoulders and we are here now. But anyway, yes, so what this video is about, it's not about my hair. I am doing something very similar to what I did in my Rosemary Hill video that I posted last month. But essentially, I am on day one of an eight day road trip from Johannesburg to Namakoland to see the wildflowers in South Africa. But this isn't just a normal holiday for me. This is a brand trip. I am working with a few brands alongside my two friends, Melanie and Carmen. Our sponsors for this trip is Ford. Ford has gifted us a 4x4 and it is gorgeous. Then I will be working with a South African brand called Rowdy. They make beautiful handcrafted bags. I've been working with them for a few years now. I will insert some photos over here. I am currently at our first day, which is Eco Karoo Lodge. It is super, super stunning. I'm gonna insert some clips soon. You guys are gonna love it. It's very minimalistic. They are completely off the grid. It is very eco-friendly. And we are the only ones here, and that is just amazing. Okay guys, so I know that was a really long-winded explanation, but if you're curious about the behind the scenes of what it's like to work as a blogger and go about creating all this different content for brands, and you're also curious about Namakoland, which is South Africa's holy grail of wildflowers, you definitely want to keep watching because I think this is going to be such an epic vlog, video, whatever we're going to call it. So, without Further ado, I'm going to stop babbling and let's get into this video. Okay guys, so we have just arrived at Eco Kuru Lodge. This is the bedroom that I'll be staying in tonight. It is a king size bed. How gorgeous is it? I absolutely love lights like this with this industrial look. When I have my own house one day, it's going to have lights like this. Ah, oh, that's so beautiful. And we got a fireplace, which is amazing. This is the bathroom beautifully designed so you have an indoor shower and we also have an outdoor shower that is the bathroom <laughs> and then this is the second bedroom just two singles and also has its own fireplace this is the view from the chalet we have the entire place to ourselves Hey guys, so <laughs> I know this frame is a bit wonky, but you are currently balancing on a box of dominoes because my tripod has already been packed into the car. We are about to leave Eco Karoo Lodge. It has been such a fantastical 24 hours here. If you love places where you're not going to hear another human, another car, nothing but the sounds of nature your entire stay, this is the place for you. It has just been so magical and serene and tranquil and sunrise was just phenomenal because you just woke up to all the birds chirping and the insects and the different little choruses that they had going. It was so wonderful and yeah, I'm so stoked that we got to stay here and I'm really proud of the content that I created 
and I'm excited to see what the other girls have created, Melanie and Carmen, because some of the shots they were getting were just French kiss. <laughs> But yeah, so now we have just finished packing the car and we're gonna be driving to our next destination, which is about five to six hours from where we currently are. And it is completely off the grid. Yeah, for the next yeah, the next two days, we're gonna have absolutely no electricity. So I am so amped to get off the grid like that and then just, yeah, not have access to the outside world. It's gonna be such a nice digital detox. Hopefully I'm going to remember to shoot some video footage of me creating the content. I didn't manage to do that here because I got really distracted. This whole vlogging thing is very new to me. So hopefully by the end of this trip, I will have a lot more video footage that I can show you of me actually doing stuff. But anyway, I will check you guys at our next destination. So we have officially arrived at this traditional Corbel house in the middle of the Karoo. This is an original building built by the Voortrekkers. It has heritage status and I'm super excited to be staying here. It's completely off the grid. We have no power and also no indoor plumbing. So we actually have to go fetch water from the nearby spring. Um, it's super excited to stay here and there's Mel and Carmen down there <laughs> in the distance busy doing some content. And yeah, this is where we are going to be spending the next couple of hours before we leave tomorrow to go camping and see the flowers. Hey guys, so we've just finished packing the car and we're leaving the couple heights. Corbel Haze and we are on our way to a junkyard and Mel promises that it sounds more exciting than that <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna go to that. destination for this week-long road trip we are camping at Enyo Nature Farm and we've just set up camp we've already seen so many flowers driving into Enyo and yeah I'm so excited for tomorrow because we're getting closer and closer and closer to the real McCoy no Macquarie land so yeah this has been unbelievable and I'm so amped and also the work's gonna start now because I'm gonna be shooting brand products in the wildflowers. So now that they are wildflowers, I'm gonna be doing a lot more work and a lot less just like chilling. But yeah, and for that, I haven't done some product photography in a while. I really enjoy it. It's just a nice skill that I really am keen on developing and getting better at it and getting better at each time I do it. So yeah, guys, I will check you in the next update. I've just packed up, or well, we're currently still packing up our campsites. It was a beautiful night here. This is definitely one of my favorite campsites in South Africa. I have a whole blog post on that, which I need to update to mention this place because it's beautiful. I mean, just look at these views, guys. <laughs> I thought I thought it's better than getting like the, the you know, cook sister. I know what that tastes like. Try something different. Okay. So 
This is what a roasted bread is. <laughs> it's an Afrikaans thing, common? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I was thinking. It's a bra thing. Bra. Bra is South African thing. I just got jam on mine. Common and Mel got jam and cheese on it. But it's best with mints. It looks like it would be nice with a curry type yeah, curry style. Yeah. Mm. Mm hmm. 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 Twelve out of ten would recommend. Trust the bread. about seeing the wildflowers in the Macaulay National Park. It's just so fucking cool. But let me show you our campsite because it is phenomenal. Those are the toilets over there. And this is the campsite, it's all set up. That is my tent. This is where Mel and Calm are gonna be sleeping. That is me attempting to put up the chairs and failing very miserably at that one. Here we have a wild common doing some product photography. She's an award-winning videographer. <laughs> Funny. Yes, that's how you manifest. Yes, come oh, on, you must true. say that you, it's already very happened. True. It's already happened. You've how much money have you won? Well, ten thousand rand. Yeah, you've ten thousand rand rich. Ten thousand rand. Oh, that's actually really nice. Mull in the back, popping the champagne <laughs> <laughs> behind the mama. I look good. <laughs> this is what we really do when we go camping. Yeah, <laughs> none of this healthy stuff. <laughs> drove 11 hours straight from Springbok back to Johannesburg. It was wild. Thank you to Mel who was the designated driver for doing that. I so appreciate you so much. But also super excited to be back home, to have a hot shower and to be able to sleep in my own bed. But I'm also aware that the, the post-trip 
depression blues are probably gonna hit me in the next couple of days <laughs> but yeah guys this was such a cool wild trip man if you are even considering going to Namakoland, i would highly highly recommend it it is an incredible road trip or just place to see i mean i wasn't actually expecting to see so many wildflowers it really bamboozled my mind <laughs> but i also want to say that i realized i did not get a hell of a lot of footage of me actually doing the content creation stuff and i apologize for that it was just really stressful because mel carmen and i we all had our own different deliverables for different brands so it's not like i had someone available that i could quickly grab to do video for me as well because they were busy with their own stuff and they had to get their own stuff done and we only had a very small window to be able to shoot every single day that's because we were driving five to six hours a day so yeah, lesson learned. I'm definitely gonna yeah, learn quite a bit from this vlog that I'm gonna carry forward into my next one, which is probably gonna be in October because I have some exciting trips lined up in October and November that I'm super excited to share with you guys. So if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure that you subscribe and turn on those bell notifications. And yeah, you'll get notified as soon as those videos start dropping. From next week i am going to be back to my normal sit down and chat with you vibes videos so if you want to see more of those make sure that you're subscribed for that as well so that you'll get the notifications as soon as they start coming out anyways guys if you have any thoughts concerns questions about south africa travel or just content creation in general make sure that you comment down below and i'll do my best to answer them and yeah guys, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. If you have any constructive criticism, why does that sound wrong? <laughs> Please leave a comment down below. I would love to hear from you guys. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.